this is one of the things I'm really excited about is using your laser accessory with the CNC router. Absolutely, this is probably one of our favorite accessories to work with. So as you can see here, we've got it installed and connected to these wire harness on the back. Mm -hmm. The wire harness itself is very simple to install and we have a video on our website walking through that from top to bottom. The laser head, when you're ready to use it, you'll see it just magnetically attaches here to this plate on the front of the spindle mount. Mm -hmm. And there's a key, there's a safety switch on this side that's part of a keyed system. Um, that way if it were to be knocked off, if it ran into a clamp or, or the material itself, it's safe. And it turns off. Correct. Yeah. Awesome. So the design and the files are very similar to what we did earlier with our sign. We just, when we're ready to use them, save it with a different post processor and bring it to the machine. And then at the machine itself, we're just going to jog it into position, set up our origins much like we did earlier. So, and we're just engraving with this laser. Correct. It is an engraving laser only. It does have some minor cutting capabilities for like paper and fabric. Sure. But, you know, we, we would believe that you've probably got one of the best cutting tools on the market. So if you're looking to cut a material, we just simply remove the laser and, and use a router bit. Absolutely. And the benefit of that is you're not going to get those burned, darkened edges that you would get with a laser. Mm -hmm. So we've jogged into position. We're just going to lower our Z down here towards the material. So you're using the origins. spindle right now. Right, yeah. We, I've got a V bit in here just to give us a nice sharp point to line up with our origin. Okay. And then once we've got this in position and we zero this out, we're going to move this back 80 millimeters, which is the offset between the tip of that okay. bit and the okay. laser point. So we'll go ahead and move that into position here. And once this is there, we can set our origin. And then I'm going to raise it up, remove that bit mm -hmm. so it's out of the way and doesn't hit our material. And we can set our Z0. You know, and we're going to do that much the same we did earlier, but this time we're going to do a little bit more manual. Sure. Uh, instead of using the puck that we had, the shroud for the laser is actually almost the exact length we need it to be. So we're going to lower this down and there would be just a small three millimeter gap between the material and the bottom of that shroud. So we lower this. And that's about the thickness of a nickel, so you got a very easy spacer that you okay. can use as a gauge here. We're going to get in in position, and we'll just press the Z0 button mm -hmm. to zero that out, and then we're ready to run the file. Let's do it. All right. Pretty impressive what some carefully guided bursts of electricity can create.